Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today I'm going to give a basic introduction to layouts in Magento. So layout files might be a little bit different from anything you've seen so far. Uh, what they are is they're a form of an XML file um, that allows you to modify the layout because you're able to move uh, blocks of content around structural blocks of your site. And we sort of went over what content blocks and structural blocks were in a previous video. For instance, um, the header would be a structural block, the content would be a structural block, left column would be structural block, content blocks would be more like something like this product tags. Uh, actually, let's go to the home page. There's a, uh, by default, we have this uh, popular tags. This would be a content block. Um, and if we actually check out our HTML here by inspecting this, you can see that this uh, block tag block, it's in a div called block tags. That's within a div that is within the column left side column. So the content block here is the block tags. The structural block is the column left side column. And because this isn't really CSS at all, this might not look like it's a left column of any sorts, but um, the structurally in your HTML, this is the left column. Uh, we'll get into more CSS. So if you're not familiar with CSS, I recommend you do the level up touch CSS. I go from the very beginning, uh, very basics, all the way up to CSS3, some cool new stuff you can do. And that, that series is actually still going right now. So you can learn CSS. CSS is not hard. You just have to spend the time, learn the basics, and it'll all make a ton of sense. And then you'll be able to modify your site in all sorts of ways. So here we have this column left, right? And this is what we were saying when we say uh, we have a content block, okay? And the layout files are is the file that's assigning content blocks to structural blocks. So let's say we wanted to modify this tag cloud that we had here as our block tag cloud. Well, you notice when we turn on these developer debug tools in the last one, so to actually find out what layout file we need, we actually need to look over here too at what template it's using. So uh, before we saw this, and this was the path to the template, however, what we're looking for is a clue to what layout file it's using. And this is gonna go front end, base, default, template, and then tag. Well, if you notice tag is the first uh, folder that's outside of the template file, uh, the template folder. So this title right here, uh, it should be where we're looking. So let's go to our site here. And just like before we went to app, and then now we're going to go to uh, design and then front end. And then instead of template this time, we're going to go to layout. And you'll see there's all these XML files in here. Well, hopefully there's one named tag. Keep scrolling down and here it is, tag. Just like we would have expected because this is right inside of template is tag. Just like uh, if we're looking for a certain one, let's look at template page or uh, template page. I'm sorry, let's try to find a new one. Template poll. So we'd, for this one, we'd be looking for poll XML. Poll XML is right here. Just like we said page before, page XML is right here. So this is where these layout files go. And these things are really complex and it's really sort of different. So I'm gonna take a couple of tutorials to talk about them. This is just going to be very, very basic. So let's actually check out our tag XML file and we'll see what it looks like. Yes, we're gonna open it as always. Okay, and if you've ever seen XML, this should look pretty familiar because it's pretty standard. However, it's a little bit different in terms of what you're doing with Magento. It's not always super intuitive. So the thing to notice is the default is going to load on most of the pages. And read the comments here, they can help you out a lot. Customer account pages uh, rendered for all tabs and dashboard. So this is really gonna you know, let you know exactly what's going on here. Well, I don't want this to show up. I don't want this popular tags to show up on uh, in the left, right? I want it to show up on the right. Well, let's actually change that, okay? So the same way we did with our template files, I'm gonna come back in here and this is our, as you remember, this is our theme itself. Um, and if you remember, we created a layout file when we created our theme. 
And just like we did before, we want to replicate this structure. So layout, we just need this file. So let's grab this tag XML file. And I'm going to drop it into my theme. I'm going to copy it so we don't modify the uh, magentos. And then now I'm going to open this one in Sublime Text. So we're just going to change this text to right. I'm going to save this. I'm going to come back to our page. I'm going to refresh. And if we look in the right column, let's scroll all the way down here where the right column stuff is, you'll see our tags are now showing up in the right column. Well, if you look back up here, you'll notice that the tags are also still showing up in the left column. Well, this actually has to do with that weird uh, default change uh, layout that is done for the home page. If we go to CMS pages and then home page, uh, where it's not actually a two column page and the content is actually, uh, you can see that the uh, content has been changed here. So this is actually adding in this block tag popular in the template itself. And so we can get rid of this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and save this page and come back and it's gonna be fine. We won't see it there anymore. So this might be uh, an exception here. So it's no longer here now and it's showing up in the right like we want it. Um, and likewise, if you didn't want to show up at all, we could actually just get rid of this, just like that. I'm gonna save this, come back, and it's gone. Um, so for, however, there is another way to remove these, which we'll be going over in the next tutorial. So don't go crazy and just removing, start removing all these reference blocks. Cause I'm gonna show you a different way to do it using a local.xml file. Okay, so uh, just, you don't have to know a ton about this right now. However, uh, like I said, we're gonna have to dive into a whole bunch more uh, topics with these layout files to truly understand them. but this for right now is the reference name and the reference is used to reference another block in this case it's referencing the the content block that's right uh, and before it was referencing the content block left so if this is confusing don't worry it's going to get a lot less confusing we're going to be uh, by the end of this able to create not only our own layouts we're going to be able to create our own template files and then reference them in layouts, get them to show up wherever we want and completely take control over the content of your site. And then after that, we're gonna get into some more advanced stuff using PHP to totally modify how your site's looking. As always, please leave a comment if you have any questions or hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts, let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott and thanks for watching.